hello everybody and welcome thank you for joining me we are back with another episode of ephemeral tell a fun retro inspired rpg we are in the royal rose garden which is one of the new areas that were added in the large update a couple weeks ago that spawned this replay through we had some interesting battles in the last episode and left us a little hurt and hopefully we'll be able to get through here we just battled a robot that really didn't give us much it played and acted like a a guardian but it really didn't do much for us in the aspect of a guardian so we're gonna have to hopefully go through here and see if we can find the true guardian and take him out hopefully also with these really strong battles here that we're up against right now we can gain a little bit of experience or a little bit of better equipment or something because i gotta say it i'm i'm winning but i definitely feel a little less prepared than i was before that is un uh completely unable to get to that's kind of weird so these battles have definitely been those kind of <laughs> the lizard standing up oh gosh that is hilarious that is just too funny so the battles have been tough i've been winning them but still not decidedly as i was before in the other areas these areas are definitely stronger they're a little bit more difficult and that's not bad we're in a new area we're in like a second half of the game so i expect it to be at least right off the beginning to be a little bit more of a challenge than the other areas were we seem to be in some kind of little bit of a maze here there doesn't seem to be anything down here except for a dabbing leprechaun <laughs> a dabbling goblin i'm sorry i said the wrong thing i said it was a leprechaun it is definitely a dabbing goblin my bad so oh he ran out of weight i hate when they run away the rare enemies do have a chance to run away it's something that's always been a little bit of annoying but it's not like exceedingly annoying that it's really that big of a deal i just lose out on a little bit of power a little bit of oh that's not good it start off with a miss is not a good thing but uh, yeah just it, it just feel a little bit weaker here and then when they the rare enemies get to run away i just i just lose out on a little bit of power which is a little bit of a disappointing little bit of a disappointment i may head on back how many of those because i have a few of those recall runes i wonder how many i have three i think we're gonna make our way because i am up almost up to level 24 but i have a lot of power and those powers when i go back to the the traveler's respite those powers give me skill points when i talk to the what is his name the the protector i when i talk to him he gives me skill points for that and i'm able to use those to get more skills and stuff where is the out here it is i think that's the out what's nice though about this area is that i don't have to do them individually all three doorways are now open so if i wanted to i could actually go into a different area play around in that and come back to this so let's run down here and see if the the protector guy is still here 
He seems to be still here, at least in ghost form. This is the true protector. So he's going to take my power and turn them into skilled gems in which, was that all of them? Did you just do, or do I have to do? Yeah, let's do that there. I'm confused about, oh, I don't have enough. Okay, so that's interesting. So he must have done it instead of doing them one for each skill gem I get. I bet you it just did one and gave me, oh, did that only give me one skill gem? Or maybe it gave me three, I'm not sure, but wow, that kind of surprised me. I could do a flash charge, that's three. Unfortunately, that's gonna take all of them. And I've been using my flask quite a bit actually recently. So yeah, that might not be a bad thing to do. My guard up might not be a bad thing. Just looking back through here, I've kind of went the physical attack route and not the magical route here. So that's why I went like the attack ma defense up instead of magic defense up. We might want to go back and pick some of those up, but I really want to come up here. I don't really want taunt, but I wouldn't mind having heal once I get to that far in the experience tree i'd like to definitely pick up hill but there's still a lot that we can go through here more stuff more stats up and more even more skills magic at some point so i'm i'm excited to go through there it looks like it's going to take a lot of work to do these because i think the skill gems are requiring more and more power each time I use them maybe I'm not sure but it seems to be using a lot more power lately before I could turn it into a skill gem so I don't know if that is a balance issue or if that is like a storyline issue not a bad thing I'm definitely getting a lot of good out of these skill gems but it just it definitely is giving me less skill gems per power than what it used to we're gonna hop back in here there was a gate over here that oh not there obviously not there but there was a gate over here somewhere <laughs> somewhere there was a gate that i saw earlier and i got a key now so I should be able to unlock that gate. Theoretically, we'll see if that works or not. Get in front of the lock. Yeah, I got a key. I'm going to use my small key. Did it fit? Clicks in the lock. The chain's barring. The way fell apart. Sweet. Okay. Well, I think the gate should go away as well. I mean, I understand the lock is gone, but eh. We just walk through the gate now. Uh oh, there's another key. And it's a gold lock. Hopefully we can find a gold key somewhere. We'll have to hopefully not spend too much time finding that. We're actually not encountering. Did somehow that get switched back? Because I'm really surprised we haven't encountered very many enemies. I'm going to go right here. Boom. There's going to be an enemy. <laughs> Look at that. A mimic. A mimic got me. No. A mimic I am not going you know what I'm gonna go ahead with him I'm not gonna worry about the double attack with me with the mimic I just don't think it's worth it his gust is going to do a lot more than any of the other stuff if I remember the pirate map allows new or more uh, more treasure increased amount of random chest and that's what I just picked that random chest there so that is you know this little chest right there that's a random chest and I now supposedly more are going to spawn and I don't know when or how they res they spawn so we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that hopefully we'll be able to get rid of that bippity the bippity has a the reason why I wanted to get rid of her first is that she has a uh, fairy fire uh, magic ability in which 
she will like cast a fairy fire on me and it's a status effect that every round I will take a little bit of damage and you know what I really don't want to take a little bit of damage every round so we're gonna get rid of her uh, right off the bat I'm there's another that's the guy we fought last time so I'm gonna assume he has the key and I wonder if he it asked for a password last time and I wonder if the password if I guess the password will it really work for me that's I wonder if they're all wrong passwords so to speak and I, I always fight him or if I guess the right password will he let me have the treasure chest I don't know I know what I guessed last time but I don't know how that affects this one here I'm not getting any I, I really could use some items here so let's check him out it was I tried password last time let's try amend override authorization failed no I expect none of them to be correct to be honest with you I'm hoping that we can take him out fairly easily we did okay last time he ended up summoning some little mini robots to help him out but we folk oh we focused on the Omega bot and was able to take him out and then take out these little guys as well although now they have came at an earlier time than I believe in the last battle ouch item I'm gonna need do I have no flash there's we go let's go ahead and heal me and then have him do his gust hopefully we crit that gust is not hitting very hard as at least as hard as I would have liked let's let's try storm mm, I don't know if that really helped me out or not let's try my arcane bolt not really yeah neither of them are doing really fire yeah all of them are about the same and it's not really oh, I keep on missing there that's that's rough I need a crit on his uh, not arcane bolt that's mine his gust is really what I need is that there we go that really helps out oh, gosh taking a lot of health off of me I'm gonna risk one more time and hopefully we can last enough so that I can do that and heal me up if I get again if I can take out the Omnibot I don't think the other guys are going to be really that much harder and I missed of course does it surprise me really I, I need some better gear I really do need some better gear here or a better partner <laughs> might be helpful as well there we go we are no items off that wow and is that a gold key a magic oh okay ornate key wow I gotta say I don't know this is this is a lot harder not saying that that's necessarily a bad thing but it is definitely stepped up the difficulty here uh, some really new items would be very nice some really solid items but again we're in the second half of the game I expect it to be much more difficult in all honesty I'm not at all surprised by the not only the difficulty but just have you know yeah the, the difficulty is not surprising me any basically we're gonna have to heal here these guys take give me way too much damage here to be able to survive that wow and we can't buy potions that's kind of an issue right now 
is that I can't buy potions. I've never found a place in which I could do that. So I've just got to hope I find them somewhere. And what we might have to end up doing is going back to one of the previous areas, you know, going all the way back and hoping we could find something or do something back there that's going to help us out in this area. I'm not sure what that's going to be. We're still very long away from a level up. I could probably fight that crab guy a couple times. Okay, there's a another guardian, but he looks like he's going to be uh, much more difficult than the other ones have been. There's the fairy. Ah, wow, the fairy fire there. Didn't look like she hit me with it. Just looked like she did a magic attack. Looks like we're getting some things finally, which is definitely good. A sh child slingshot, a Leo's Dawn, and a shield of the order. Let's see what that all does for me. Devourer's Edge is really nice though. <laughs> Leo's Dawn, no, really not. Don't like it, to be honest. Venge Vengeful Whip we've tried. Wow, not, I got a, there's just not much I am seeing that's attracting me to these different items here. We got a burning ring, which grants us the fire, fairy fire skill, which doesn't really help us here. Poisons the user. I really don't want to poison myself. That's definitely not a good idea. Yeah, and I'm just not finding items that I'm going to use in that. That guy right there worries me. That's probably what I'm going to have to face here in a little bit to get what's needed, the blessing or whatever. But I'm a little worried. I got to say that I don't think I'm going to make it to a especially not this hurt make it to a a way that can you know beat him i'm i'm not at a position in which i can beat him basically is what i'm trying to say it just i'm ooh, an armless vest okay that's interesting my yeah my health is really down my Flask is down to one. I think my flask refills when I go back to the fire. So we're going to head back to the fire, see what I can do. There's a lot ahead of us here, and maybe we could also check out one of the other areas, dip our nose in there and see if that helps us out any, because we are unprepared for this area that is for certain i wonder if all the other areas are just as difficult as those and we might just have to push through that that might be something where we are right now in the game that we have to grind a little bit at one place or another now Typically, I grind at a lower area, thinking that if you are able to stay out longer, I think that only gave me one skill skill get. Yeah, I need to have, oh, I was trying to see how much more I needed. 1670, so it seems like each time I use it, it goes up. Okay, I want, uh, I'm not going to worry about the skill tree because I only got one. I'm not sure that's going to help me to get something unless it's one of the, wonder if I should go back and pick up some of these other things. The magic attack defense up 
those two. I mean, go back through here and pick some of these up. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or a bad idea. This needs, you know, with I have one, I need level 21. I'm not sure what level I'm on. Let's go ahead and do that. And then what does this need? 22? I'm not sure. Let's see if I can find out what level I'm on. I'm on 25, so I definitely have the level to get these. It's just I'm not getting the skill gems necessary to use it quick enough. And I'm not sure why it's increasing. If there's some reason that the skill the power required for each skill gem is increasing I'm, I if I do is it each time I talk to him or each time he converts a skill gem I don't know I am curious here let's go ahead and do the Bayou and see just poke our nose in here a little bit and see what this is all kinds of like creepy here see what we could find to see if the enemies are as tough as in the garden what would I forget the royal garden there we go I like these little spiders though they're kind of cute and I missed that's not good oh no these these are just as bad these are yeah I'm missing Am I just not at a level that's going to be, wow. Did I somehow just <laughs> like fluke my way into this area? I believe I can go back. Okay, so we got them killed, but the, I'm, we're not getting very many items. We're not getting very much power, I don't feel. Let's jump. I want to see something really quickly before the, we end this episode. They are decidedly stronger than we are. And I'm not. Oh, yes, I did want to leave that area. I wonder if I go back up through here, go back through the portal. Can I go back into the old areas? That's kind of what I want in and, and maybe grind a little bit. Maybe some, find some better items. I'm not sure what needs to be done right here. I could go back and battle the the blessing, the, the guys that give me blessings again, to be all honest, the guardians. Let's, I'm gonna assume, let's go back in here and the the fairy blessing the fairy blessings this first one and I, she's right here so i should be able to fight her which test your strength once more yes let's see what she does let's see how well we can cut through her maybe i don't know i just ow yeah, Merlin got hurt pretty bad. Let's go ahead and heal him up. The flask is nice though. It's a rechargeable thing, which is definitely good. I mean, a crit on that is 400 with her. That's a big difference than when I'm hitting the other people. I mean, the gust is definitely hurting her more than it's hurting the other ones. And I wonder if that is a matter of... Ow and nope we want to just get rid of her there. If i can get rid of her i should be really happy actually because the little bippities should go pretty well here i mean she's down now i mean it definitely took out half of my health there i'm really close to another fight i don't really want to fight her or another guardian either that's not necessarily what I want to do. Let's jump in. I, I wonder also if I'm missing any like special areas in my, did I miss a tunnel or a secret? You know what? Let's go, 
where there is one area really quickly that I have never gotten into and let's see if we can find that again I'm hoping that I could just go through these really quickly and without dying here we go all I need is a nice little gust from him and he's gone and that should put us over into 26 that's what I was that's exactly what I was hoping for that's not a full way over so that's not it I'm looking there was a cave here somewhere in this area that I never was able to get into and I wonder if I can open that now unhoned apprentice there's really not I'm looking for those infinite things to be honest I'm hoping that we're able to find those and be able to I don't know power up with something here this looks like a dead end I believe this is just where I was just on the top shelf of it I do not recall where the I know I remember it was down in the bottom I definitely remember that but to be able to find that area I'm not sure where it was we're gonna see if we can find it quickly and see if what if we can get back down to it there was definitely a place a, in this area that I was not able to get to before and I don't uh, does not appear that I'm going the right direction right now I'm being stronger here that's a big thing I'm not sure what happened there oh I was paralyzed yeah just attack him I don't want to waste the magic on him a pointed helm this was it over I feel that it was over on there's another if I can get down there I see a random little what a um, what are those things called <sighs> I cannot for the life of me think of why in the world can I not you know what I'm gonna try here is his storm that worked out really nicely Woo! the treasure chest down there the random treasure chest I just need to see if I can find a way there we go now I'm down here let's go over and check out the treasure chest then we'll look into that cave and see if missed it can I just do another stand sandstorm He's strong enough and he gets his magic back quick enough that I probably holy crap definitely hurt Merlin quite a bit there bonehead shard I'm not sure what that is I want to assume it's an equipment I'm not sure pointed helm maybe it's a body bone shard shield grants 15 magic lowers I don't really want to do that it gives me like really a strong attack but a really weak defense not ideal there is this it aha here we go I'm still not maybe someone else is strong enough to open it I don't know who would be strong enough to open it or what I can do to open it I'm wondering if it's there is some text etched into the base. It reads, The Eternal Watch, Guardian over King's Pass, Durain to seize all. What could it mean? Those that seek to defile them will forever will be forever haunted by his wrath. Okay. Do these say anything? I really would like to open that, to be honest with you. Those don't seem to be saying anything either. I am going to heal up Merlin there hopefully and I think we're just gonna go ahead and end the episode there 
I will keep looking and see if I can figure this out. I'm not sure where else to go or what else to do here. The, yeah, I think that's the switch. I can't like refill the water, can I? That'd be kind of cool. Okay. It didn't really let me refill the water. That would be kind of cool if it did somehow. For some reason that was important or something. Well, yeah, this is going to be the end of the episode. I'm not sure if I'm going to grind back in this area or go on and do something else. I'm just not certain of the best course of action right now. And I think that I might peek around here a little bit more. See if I can figure out what that dune is and maybe figure, you know, get some items and a little bit more experience. But that's going to be the episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.